Chris, what is our second main topic today? This one comes from Alton Wang. I know you do not like a speculation, but there are rumors that Dwayne The Rock Johnson will replace Will Smith as the genie in Aladdin. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is because of Will Smith's audition for slapstick comedy on the Oscars. What do you think about the rumors? Are you excited? Slapstick <laughs> comedy. Um, all right. Thank you for sending that in, man. All right. Look, let's go back a couple of years. And there was an announcement that came out, unsurprisingly, because Disney had been in kind of the mode of doing a lot of animated to live action transitions, right? And we heard they were going to do Aladdin, to which a lot of people said, how on earth can you do Aladdin without Robin Williams? And then a bigger head scratcher to me when they went out and hired Guy Ritchie to direct it. Now, you got to understand, I am a massive Guy Ritchie fan. Snatch is actually a top 20 all time. Top 20 all-time favorite film of mine. I love that. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. I mean, I just think the guy is great, but I thought Aladdin? Guy Ritchie doing Aladdin. And then they hired Will Smith, to which a lot of us, including me, kind of at first were like, that's interesting. The more I thought about it, though, the more it kind of started to work for me because I thought, you know, you need to get somebody who is not like Robin Williams But like Robin Williams has a larger than life kind of personality. And Will Smith, at the time, slapstick comedy notwithstanding, I thought he fit the bill. Anyway, the the movie came out, and I'll tell you straight up, Aladdin is wonderful. I I just can't believe how, like, Anne and I actually ended up going to the movies three nights in a row just to watch Aladdin. Because every time we watch it, we came out smiling and grinning and singing the songs and stuff. It's just a delightful, wonderful movie. Then the Oscars happened. And what do you do? And because they, they announced a while ago they wanted to do a Aladdin part two. So what do you do about it? Well, according to some reports going out there, you go and get Dwayne the Rock Johnson. This comes to us from Inside the Magic, uh, who write the following. Several outlets are reporting Dwayne Johnson could take over the role as Genie in the sequel. Genie, originally played by Robin Williams in the animated film, has been one of the most beloved characters in the world of Disney for 30 years. Absolutely. Several Will Smith projects have been canceled or postponed since the incident at the Oscars, and Disney has not provided an official update to offer any clarity on if he will remain in the role or if the rumors of a replacement could be true. At Universal Orlando, Smith is still the narrator on the beloved attraction Men in Black, Alien Attack. Since the incident at the Oscars, however, many fans have said the attraction, quote-unquote, just isn't the same. And that comes to us from inside the magic. All right. So there are questions built upon questions built upon other questions here. Question number one. Is Disney still moving ahead with an Aladdin 2? Question two. If they do, are they going to do it with Will Smith? Question three coming from these reports is, if they don't do it with Will Smith, will it be with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? All right. No chance in hell. No chance in hell. Uh, Look, if you want to do an Aladdin 2, let's let's skip the first two questions for now, go right to the third. Do you replace Will Smith with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? I don't believe it for a second. It's not impossible. We've seen stranger things happen. Mm Mm-hmm. Again, we live in a world where Jamie Foxx came back to play Electro again. In that world, anything can happen. So I'll say that anything can happen. But I don't buy this for a second. First of all, the reports are all coming from Gus's gas station movie reviews dot fart websites. I mean, it's so talented. They they get all the scoops, don't you know? So I, I don't really believe it on that level. Like, again, tomorrow, if Deadline starts writing about this or Variety starts writing, okay, then we got to pay more attention to it. But But here's the other thing. You've already done the first Aladdin, live action. You've already done the first live action Aladdin. Dwayne The Rock Johnson cannot be that genie. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a good performer. He's got charisma for days. Unfortunately for Disney, Will Smith kind of set a bar and a template for this Aladdin. Now, you can say, yeah, but, you know, he wasn't Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah, but that was an animated decades ago. This is a sequel to an already live action thing. And with all the things that Dwayne The Rock Johnson can do, he cannot be Will Smith's genie. He can't. And that's not a knock on his talent. You know, uh, Anthony Hopkins cannot be Will Smith's genie. Okay? 
there, it's just it is just not a fit. It does not work. And as much as I love Dwayne the Rock Johnson, it doesn't. Now, now some people may say, well, you know, John, Moana, huh? Okay, okay, yeah. And that was great. I loved him in that. I really, really did. But I just can't see him being Will Smith's genie. That is not a fit for me. I don't know. Chris, you hear the rumors. First up, do you believe that they're actually looking at Dwayne the Rock Johnson to replace Will Smith? Um, and if not, what kind of context could exist where maybe it could be believable? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I don't believe it at all. As much as I would love a moment of call me Al, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> like, that would be fantastic. Uh, I, I just don't see him doing this Disney property. I don't feel like that is in line with The Rock's trajectory right now. I don't think he sees himself as a substitution. Right? Yeah. And that's a big part of this. You did bring up, though, somebody who I went, oh, that would have been great casting when you brought up Jamie Foxx's Electra. I went, oh, he would have been a great genie because that genie could have sang. That genie would have had a great singing voice. Yeah, that genie could have worked. I could see something like that. I really just don't see Dwayne taking up someone else's role, especially when it's filling in a spot because of some uh, controversy. You know, I, I don't think that is something that he would do. I don't think that's something that his team would want him to do either. He has a very, very clear image of himself, his work and his work ethic. He'd hold out for a dis different Disney property. And would he want to put himself in a position where he's going to be compared? By the way, I love that image, Ray. <laughs> yeah, good job, Ray. Ray made this image. Would he want to be compared? Does he want to come out and then all of a sudden have fans comparing him to Will Smith's yeah. genie? And I don't think that's no. ideal. And Chad, I know he did Jungle Cruise. I'm saying, like, if he does another Disney property. Yeah, but he wasn't taking over somebody yeah, else's role. Yeah, he's not role. taking someone else's spot. He was creating a role. Exactly. Rob, I don't know. What, what, do you, what do you think about this whole thing? Well, the thing is, the, the comedy of the genie, the fun of the genie, is not easy to do. You know, and, and while Dwayne Johnson is a great performer and he is a deft comedian... I think the way words are used in the character of the genie is not easy to do. I could see Jamie Foxx take over the role before I could see Dwayne Johnson only because the, the delivery, the genie's delivery is so important to that character. I don't think Dwayne yeah. could pull it off. There's like a in, small yeah. nature. There's an impishness to yeah, it. Yes. And you know, Will Smith, he has a background. I mean, learning comedy on a sitcom, is one of the best way when you you were recording in front of a live audience. Yep. And you know, Dwayne's comedy comes out of the wrestling and yeah. what he's yeah. done. He's not this. He doesn't. He is not impish. Mm -hmm. He does. Well, not now have wait a bag. minute. Did you not see the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> I, I'm just. I'm just saying. You I know, did. I think and you're it's selling a little short. Sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I just don't think. I, I don't think it's it's him. And like you guys have pointed out, I don't think. Dwayne does the seconds thing. Mm -mm. He he he's a star. He doesn't take over a role. He makes a role. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, although I gotta say, I would watch. I would watch that movie if Dwayne. If, <laughs> oh if, yeah. If Dwayne no it out for sure. I mean, I would check it out. Like I would be like, I would be dubious and skeptical and all that, but I would go. Yeah. Because if nothing else, he would give it a hundred percent. Absolutely. He might fail. Or he might do do he might do the role in a different if they made his genie different, like more tailored to his skills. Yeah. But I just don't I don't think he wouldn't I don't think he walks into roles. That's the thing that would keep me from believing it is that he doesn't unless they backed up the Brinks truck five or six times to his house. You know maybe which they have done in the past. Yeah. Uh, Ray, you got background on this. Like, what do you think about it? It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> sorry, I had to do that. I, ha I just, I, I'm embarrassed. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I should have done that. What? He's already sleeping. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think Mike Tyson should be Gene. <laughs> Wouldn't it just be a corn. I mean, if it was like, um, who, who I, I'd watch that too. <laughs> I watch that too. Who, who was the movie studio that we worked next to? The Asylum. Asylum. Oh. Asylum. <laughs> if they were doing this. I would pick Mike Tyson for sure. It would just be funny because he'd be like a mean, then nice genie. I mean, like in real life, mean and then nice. But, you know, that's my pick. Rolando in the chat thinks it should be you, Ray. Oh, yeah. Ray is the genie. Ray is the genie. I can see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this rumor going around that Disney is looking at Dwayne The Rock Johnson to replace Will Smith. I think it's pure fantasy and fairy tale, but again, stranger things have happened. I don't know. Could you see a way that it could possibly work? Whatever you guys think, 
jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a minute and thank the sponsors of this video, Liquid IV. Now listen, just one stick of Liquid IV added to 16 ounces of water will hydrate you faster and more efficiently than just water alone. It contains five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and of course vitamin C with three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. And what makes Liquid IV so effective is the science of cellular transport technology or CTT. You see, it's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into your bloodstream faster and more efficiently. You know, Ann and I get up pretty early in the morning to go to the gym because we can't go to the gym at any other time during the day and for the last couple of weeks I have been drinking one full glass of water with liquid IV and all I can tell you is you can feel the difference during the workout so go and grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code campia at checkout that's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code campia that's c-a-m-p-e-a at liquidiv.com experience better hydration today when you go to liquidiv.com and remember use the promo code at checkout campia